All right, so I'm back with this part two of the Comics Pro uh, clear backboards. Like I said, I'm really in love with this one. I highly recommend for any of you guys that who wants to um, bag them or bag and board their books with like wraparound cover or some of the covers or some of the books that has two covers, the front and the back. So I got nine books over here to sh kind of show off to you. Um, as I highlight this, all right? So don't forget, is get the 80 point. Don't get the 60, no the 56. Get the 80, highly recommend it. So the first book is Transformers. Um, this is a one shot. This is the death of Optimus Prime. So this is the front and check out the back. Had the Decepticon and has all of the covers they had done over the years so it's pretty dope i like it uh also this is the um when venom the movie f came out this is the amc they were free promotional comic book they were giving out but you have to see this how's that for back huh is that we are venom can't wait until the um for the second movie to come on and I'm kind of hoping that they will do the same promotional comics um, and do a carnage background on this so that'll be kind of dope all right the next one is batman number 100 this is the leap or Mayho team uh variant um and also like about this one here because it has that as for the back just sick so and uh, somebody asks about fingerprints and things. It's really easy to come off, but I do recommend using a glove and handling any of your comic books. Uh, this one is Action Comics. Uh, it's a reprint. I believe this was reprint 1964. It could be later in time, but this is one of the very first reprint of uh, Action Comics number one, of course, the first uh, time that Superman was introduced in a comic book. So I just love the fact that they still have that 10 cents mark, but it does say um, the brick print of first Superman feature. The reason for that is there's so many variation of this. I just wanted to kind of sh know which one that I have. Um, so this is it. Uh, it's not in a great condition, uh, but still uh, good to have that a brick print of this. Of first Superman all right the next one is master of the universe number one this is the uh, graham cracker uh, variant which they had a regular version this is the gold foil I think the regular had about 3,000 to maybe 5,000 print run this one only have 15 but here it is how's that for back cover huh so this is a wraparound uh, Skeletor in his uh, castle and you got He-Man and uh, the green cat there forgot his name but yeah pretty cool uh, so yeah this is a certificate and also Venom 3 Gabriel Delata this is a virgin I remember um, I forgot who was it was it Frankie's or was it unknown or forgot really who did this it has a three set there's a trade dress virgin and there was a black and white kind of sepia feel but how's that huh the back spider-man from my understanding this was never a cover art it was supposed to be a personal art he had to meet a deadline so he just submitted one of his personal drawing and became this wraparound so if you got this one in slab, good for you. But if you don't you want to showcase that, it's pretty dope. Venom number three. Also, uh, this is Green Lantern number 20, uh, the new 52. First appearance of Jessica's hand. Uh, camo appearance in the last panel. This one also has a wraparound cover. Really dope. Um, also, this happens to be the new stand. So yeah uh this is a venom immortal hulk i believe this is issue number uh, 18. uh this is one of the 25 second print variant uh but yeah it's pretty sick and of course the one i showed earlier uh is the jenica 
Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, number 95, first appearance of Jenica as a turtle. Uh, so, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Like I said, it's very sturdy, um, solid. Um, just the weight itself is very heavy, so just keep that in mind when you pick this up. But highly recommend it for uh, for any collectors or anyone that who wants to display their uh, back. I just love this one here, Venom, with that back cover. I remember this was selling for at least about 20 to 30 bucks for a free comic book. Now, I believe it's just like $5 book. And this just blew me away knowing that had that back cover of Decepticon symbol. Um, this was um, AOK -okay from the Doom 1.3. So once again, this is the uh, a kind of follow up with the Comics Pro line um, clear board, 80 point. Don't get the 56 or the 60. Very flimsy, 80 is sturdy, very, very uh, firm. I highly recommend. All right, guys, later. Thank you.